Former President Donald Trump warning about the terror threat at the southern border under border czar Kamala Harris's leadership. Watch this. Kamala Harris is letting terrorists come into our country at record numbers and letting jihadists pour into our homeland by the thousands and thousands and thousands. We can't do that. Customs and Border Protection also denying uh, an appeal from Fox yesterday over a FOIA request that was only seeking information on just the nationalities of terror watch list suspects arrested by Border Patrol, not any personal information in that request. CBP citing privacy and law enforcement sensitivity concerns. There's been 422 encounters of migrants on the terror watch list nationwide so far this year. I want to bring in former acting director of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Heritage Foundation visiting fellow and a Fox News contributor, Tom Homan. Tom, good morning. Good morning. So talk to me about this. I mean, look, the request from, from Fox, that FOIA request, that, that's one issue because we don't know who these people are. At least give us the names of the countries we've been denied. But on the other side of this is the fact that the border continues to be a problem uh, with no solution. Well, first of all, it's, I don't think it's a law enforcement sensitive issue just to talk about what nationalities of those on the terrorist watch list have been apprehended on the southern border. It's, it's not law enforcement sensitive, it's politically sensitive, especially right before the election, and it kind of pulls the curtain back what this administration has done. But look, the Democrats are pushing that border numbers are, are way down. But what the fact is, the border numbers are being, are, they're playing a shell game. They open, a, you know, they got the CBP-1 app, they had the CHNV, they just, you know, put on hold for a while. They're running thousands of people through our airports and through port of entries, calling them legal entries, which are not. They're taking the same group of illegal aliens and putting through ports of entries, calling it legal entry. That way they don't have to come as illegal entries. If you add the CHNV, the CBP-1 app, the numbers of Border Patrol still arresting, plus the gotaways, you are still have his, historic numbers every day. But this administration is lying to the American people. And that, that's the op-ed. You talk about this in a new op-ed on FoxNews.com. It's, it's titled, Democrats Lie Big About Our Border Crisis, Compare Senate and House Bills for Proof. And one of the things that you write here, it's interesting, you say, now who prevented the strongest legislation ever that would have helped to secure the border? It was the Democrats. And the White House, they shut down H.R. 2. We just had Carlos Jimenez talking about that. A strong border bill passed by the House long before anyone in the Senate, even though about border legislation, and that President Trump and many Republicans prevented a tragedy from being codified. So tell us more about, about your, you know, it's a very lengthy piece on Foxes.com. I encourage our viewers to read it. But talk to me about what, you know, the key points here that you believe that we need to be aware of. Well, again, the, the, the Biden, the Biden, the, the Biden Harris administration, and now the Harris campaign are touting how President Trump wasn't really about securing the border. He, he shut down legislation that would have fixed the border because he wanted to make an election issue. That is just a stone cold lie. They had HR two, which was the strongest, hell of a lot stronger than the Senate bill, and it would have worked to secure the border. How do I know that? Because HR two had a lot of Trump policies that we proved were effective, most effective policies ever on the border. So why would we negotiate against no success? Now, it, so Chuck Schumer never put H.R. 2 on the floor to the Senate to discuss. He didn't put up for a vote. Then they came up with a Senate bill. Why did they do that three and a half years after we've had this border chaos? Because they knew what the polls were saying. So they had to come up with some sort of legislation that they knew wouldn't pass. So they can blame the Republicans on shutting down border legislation. Now, Senator Langford, who is a Republican who helped on that Senate bill, I told him, I had a conversation with him when he briefed me on that plan and wanted my support. I said, that plan won't work. That's a terrible plan. You ought to be, as a senator, force the Senate to put H.R. 2 on the floor for discussion and vote. That will fix the border. So again, the Democrats were in an effort to switch Switch, switch the argument, let's put it on Republicans, let's create a bill that we know won't pass and, 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 and flip the script. But hear me clearly, the Senate bill, anybody that actually reads that bill, there's no way it's going to secure the border. Anybody that reads that bill and understands that bill, say, and I would ask Kamala Harris while she's pushing this, I'm going to sign a Senate bill on day one. What's in the Senate bill, Ms. Harris? Because I, I, I doubt you know a single thing's in the Senate bill.
Well, you make it a good point in that that is a Democratic talking point now. They say that the only reason that we don't have a more secure border and that nothing has been passed is because former President Trump told, you know, Senate and House Republicans uh, to, to not move on it. But but the truth is, is that, the, Tom, that there were several senators that had already said that they were not going to vote for that legislation because, again, they felt like it didn't do enough. It didn't secure the border. There was too many loopholes. And, it, and, the, and the numbers just weren't, you know, as far as those could cross and when you would shut down the border were just too generous. No, the, look, the Senate bill, the Senate bill, we just called more little agreements, did nothing about child trafficking. We got, we got a quarter million children they can't even find in this country. It would increase child trafficking. It did nothing about family crossings. And in the bill on page, I think it's page 164, it says if you claim asylum, you can still be released. So they say the bill stopped catching release, but it didn't. There was a carve out for those claiming asylum. Everybody's claiming asylum. Look, what, what Harris can't run away from is they unsecured the most secure border in our history on purpose. They did nothing for three and a half years to secure the border. They've never been about border security. This is about, a, this is about an election. They saw the poll numbers and they had to come up with a plan to try, to try to flip this script. This is about an election. It's not about border security. And day one, if Biden was, if Biden Harris was to remain in the White House, if, if Harris actually won this campaign, you will see the border in total chaos on day one. It's an election ploy, and that's all it is. It's not serious about border security at all. Before you go, real quick, I do want to ask you about this. A federal judge has issued a stay on the Biden-Harris administration's parole in place program, temporarily blocking the effort to grant a pathway to citizenship to some of these illegal migrant spouses of U.S. citizens. But this is after 16 Republican attorneys general filed a lawsuit over that policy last week, Tom. Finally, your thoughts. A great decision. It's just another look. It, 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 we're talking about border chaos, historical immigration. What are they doing? They're going to have another giveaway program that rewards illegal behavior. They're going to prove once again: if you hide out in this country long enough, we're going to give you something. If not amnesty, we're going to do parole in place and this new program. It was a great decision by the judge. It's time we secure the border and stop rewarding illegal behavior. That if that was to be put in place, it's just going to cause more people to come to the United States. Ignore judge's order of deportation, hide out long enough, marry you a citizen, and guess what? You, you are immune from our laws. You can stay despite your illegal status. It's just another enticement for more illegal immigration. That's all it is. Tom Holman, it's always great to see you. Thank you.